What's good? It's Jigozi. It's Tuesday, December 17th, 2019. According to the narrative, which is completely fake, they're saying that Donald Trump sends a scorching letter to Nancy Pelosi. So you're saying that if you're believing this, Donald Trump sat down at his word processor or, you know, he hand wrote it, however he did it. It was very lengthy, so he spent time doing it. I thought he was always golfing, you know. So in his lengthy letter, he calls the House Speaker's actions spiteful and claims she is lying to the country when she says she prays for him. Which is true. She doesn't pray for him. She is an actor for the Freemasons. Have you ever seen a movie and they're praying? Do you think they're actually praying? No, they're acting. They're pretending to pray because it's a play. This is the same exact thing. This is an actor. So is Donald Trump. When she says she prays for him, she's told to do it. It's from the Catholic Church. Talk about praying on Pope Francis's birthday. It's not a coincidence. This is bullshit propaganda from the Jesuit order. And they put spiteful in quotes in Gamatria. There's behind it. And we'll see why they're doing this. It is always concocted propaganda from the Freemasons. Spiteful equals 36. 108, 108, like geometry equals 108. 45, Donald Trump, the 45th president. You see what I'm saying? You have this geometry pattern, this geometry obsessed cult. Well, geometry is the same exact numbers, by the way. See, 36, 45, 108, 108. Donald Trump, Saturn, keep of time, cycles, circles. Notice how geometry, the word is made out of a line, a circle, and then the eight is two circles. And forwards and backwards, it's the same thing. Just like symmetry, they created your language by this code. And then they put that inside this piece of propaganda. Spiteful. Ruth Bader Ginsburg on Trump's calls to stop trial. The president is not a lawyer. We gotta look at today's date numerology. So again, Donald 5023, Donald Trump 48, Donald John Trump 68, Donald J. Trump 68, Trump 29. 41, the 13th prime, USA 41, is the president of the USA. And then the 351st day of the year, it's the, sixth, or the 26th triangular number. So RBG is here. I want to click on this Nancy Pelosi propaganda too and look at it. But we do got to see why R. Bader Ginsburg, RBG, is in the propaganda. Bed Bath & Beyond's new CEO lays off nearly all of his execs, ends their careers. N14, dead 14, is the date with 14 days remaining. That Beth and Jan's participating in this propaganda, and we could see some sacrificial death killing murder coding in this propaganda event. Today is the 17th, kill equals 17. Bed Bath Beyond, BBB222, like order out of chaos. So we get the Scottish right 57. So not, nothing really, this is not related to death killing and murder, at least not directly. CS355. Five, five. I'm just calling these things out. I'm not too sure why they're having some of these things. You saw the three on one side of the window, the three on the other side, 33. They're doing that. Minute 28 second video, 88 seconds. So he, he laid off his entire C suite, his execs. You'll see the third letter. So yeah, exactly. Not, not really the, the pattern I was expecting, but you see what they, what they are coding. Bad Bath and Beyond is coded by the numbers. Bad Bath and Beyond equals 107, the 28th prime, 53, the 16th prime, 64, 164. Donald Trump sends scorching light to Pelosi ahead of House impeachment votes, updated at 511. Saturn equals 511 in the Jewish cipher. Here at 152, it's 112 seconds. Donald 112. So again, it's just they're look at all this propaganda. They're telling you that he sent her a letter. They're trying to tell you all this and all this. You are the ones interfering with America's elections, Trump says, adding that the Democrats are bringing pain or ringing pain. They're probably just trying to code both and suffering to our republic for your own selfish, personal, political, and partisan gain. I mean, that's what the whole agenda is about, and that's what both parties do. 
I mean, again, it makes no sense. And you see how they're blaming the Democrats or the Republicans for what's going on, not knowing that it's the people who run the two parties, the Freemasons, the Zionist Jews, the Jesuit order. It's just not hard to see. This is a bunch of bullshit. I might just start doing that, picking out random paragraphs instead of reading the whole thing and just seeing how dumb it is. They might say, oh, you're picking, like, I mean, come on, you want to read this from the whole beginning to end and then make sense of it and say, oh, this makes sense. This is actually cool and real. No, it's a bunch of bullshit propaganda. Trump and Pelosi have had a history of tense, often personal fights, which have been highlighted by the impeachment inquiry launched this fall. Their most recent White House meeting in October, the month that equals 33, was cut short because of the insults they hurled towards each other in the cabinet room. They are two actors. I mean, guys, every fucking paragraph we read pretty much says, not verbatim, that these are two actors for the federal government. It's just ridiculous. Hurling insults at each other and all this. Man versus woman. Democrat versus Republican. (laughs) Divisive propaganda from the federal government. And people just fall for this shit. It's just retarded. You know, cabinet room equals 52 like government, 115 like Masonic. Here's this tweet I saw on Factbase. Nancy Pelosi just got duped. What do you say? Nancy Pelosi just got duped in an interview to admitting that she has been working on impeaching me for two and a half years. They put that in quotes, two and a half years, 2.5, Trump equals 25. In other words, she lied. This was a radical left. This was the radical left, do-nothing Democrats plan all along, long before the Ukraine phone call, impeachment hoax. Ukraine, again, and president equal the same thing. I'm trying to show you how it's all fake. Ukraine, 11047, president, 11047. You see how they use the alphabetical order for president, reversing for Ukraine. It's completely scripted. Impeachment hoax, you know, at 10 and 53. Jesuit order equals 153. It's a giant hoax. Again, Donald Trump's always letting you know the truth. They always do this. He always calls it fake news, hoax. He always uses these terms. He's mocking the fuck out of you because he knows that he is the actor that's branded a certain way. So he knows that he can say whatever he wants and it discredits it. That's why he's the one always giving you the most clues. And that's why a lot of people fall for it and think, oh, Donald Trump's the savior. He's exposing the new world order. No, he's just an actor. Yes, I guess he did wake up a good handful of people when they finally realized, oh, their apprentice is our president. This whole shit must be fake. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't see that from Bush, from 9-11, from everything else, but it's fine. You know, Donald Trump's a president now. At least more people are awake, but that's not an excuse for the bullshit propaganda to continue. It's not an excuse to sit on your hands and say, oh, well, Trump's out now. Everyone's awake. Like, so? Most people still aren't awake. Most people still believe all this crap propaganda. The president, I just, so I was looking at this earlier, I was thinking this is like some Jesuit order ritual. There's just more here, I probably don't even want to look at it. It's probably best I just close the video without just making it long. You know, we're at eight minutes. I kind of was already jumping all over the place. But I guess I got to sit here and explain why these people are actors. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg speaking out about the impeachment process. The- oh my God. I want to see what impeachment equals again. Oh, two and a half years equals 88. What was in this tweet? You know, two and a half years. They're saying that equals 88, like Trump. Impeachment. Oh, Trump equals 47, like Ukraine. But impeachment equals 53. That's why, that's why I had to see what impeachment equals. It equals 53. And then see, now it all, it all makes sense now. This is why they're doing it. Well, let me explain it all. And it, and it makes sense. I jumped around. I'm glad we're seeing this. So first we have this propaganda, see, 53 second video. I said I wanted to see what it equaled because I noticed. They talk about impeachment. This guy, I forgot, John Berman, whatever his name is. He's talking about this in a 53 second video. Impeachment equals 53. Use an alphabetical order to rules of numerology. You get the 107 as well. Where do we see this earlier? And this is what I'm showing. That's what I'm saying. Yes, Bed Bath Beyond. This is why they're deciding to participate in this propaganda today. Bed Bath Beyond 107.53. They're talking about impeachment 107.53 on the front page. They do these things all the time. They'll have a story that's pretty unrelated, but they'll do all like that's just the main thing. I, I mean, I say this all the time. Yes, they link it up with the date numerology, 
but they also link all the stories together, or at least most of them together, by just the same gematria patterns per day. That's what they, I mean, they've always done this, and they're doing it here. So you see how Bed Bath Beyond equals the same thing as impeachment. It's all here on the front page propaganda. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Make sure I'm spelling her name right. Yeah. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, 86, 103 to 27 prime. I want to see why she's in the propaganda. I don't see too much with her name in relation to today. You know, blood sacrifice 86, but for how old she is, doesn't matter. You know, 68 numerology to reflection 86. RBG, you know, she's, guys, if you don't know already, she's another actor for the Freemasons. And I think it's a mod thing. Well, she's not a judge, a lawyer, you know what I mean? She just got, you know, ushered through bar school or you know, law school, given a bar exam that she was going to pass anyway, March 15th, 1933. So what we can do today to her upcoming birthday. How old is she right now? And this impeachment propaganda It's 86 years old. Her name equals 86. She could die before she turns 87. You know that, right? Her name equals 86. What sacrifice 86? Dying at 86. It's perfect. But I wouldn't be surprised they let her live to 93, you know? Just because that, that aligns doesn't mean it'll happen, but it can. Ruth Bader, 80, Gainsburg, 86. She's 86 years old right now. To her upcoming 87th birthday. We'll see. March 15th, 2019. Her upcoming 87th birthday. Whoops. We can do it from her 86th birthday first. So that's what I put in. Her 86th birthday till today is 277 days. That's the 59th prime. A span of... Nine months, three days. You know, Saturn 93, Propaganda 93. She's in this Saturnian propaganda with this Saturnian actor, Donald Trump. This impeachment propaganda. But I really do want to see to her upcoming birthday. Two months, 28 days. You know, death 228. And I mean, I, I, it goes without saying. I was thinking this. I always say this when I saw her propaganda. Or we can see some death killing murder numbers when they put her out. Death 228 in the English Sumerian cipher. It's also 12 weeks and 6 days. When you write out 33, you get 126. Without the end date, though, it's 12 weeks, 5 days. The Lehman 125. Again, participating in some Donald Trump propaganda. The Thelemic's attorney and actor. Results, 89 days. Chaos 89, two months, 27 days, 49th prime. How about the cycle circles? Ruth Bader Ginsburg, her initials RBG 27, her name equals 103 to 27 prime. So again, I mean, this is the point, where are we? 13 minutes, okay. One more story. And we'll close it. That I haven't talked about today. I mean, I don't even know why I'm making this video right now. Just, I mean, what's the point? I mean, a 64 second video with SpaceX 104. SpaceX equals 68. You know, 64 numbers of squared in a chessboard. It's the same recycled propaganda sometimes. That's what I hate about it. But you know what never fails? What's never been failing us? It's Fox News. Every time you go, there, there's some clearly closed story on the front page. See, Trump unloads. President tells Pelosi in blistering letter, Dems declaring open war on democracy. See, and he's, I mean, I mean you just see how it's all crafted. Open war is going to be really coded. Open war, 38, 97, 34, murder, 34. 38. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to jump around, but I want to see Nancy Pelosi's birthday now. I want to see Nancy Pelosi. She's in all this propping in today. We can't do RBG's birthday, but not hers. March 26. You know, it's pretty close. March 26. We can do it to her upcoming 80th birthday. Congress equals 100. You see how this congressional actor is in this congressional piece of propaganda 100 days from her birthday. That's what I'm saying. She's an actor for Congress. Congress is nothing else than a theatrical performance troupe for the federal government. Ever, please, challenge me on that. What has Congress ever done that was not scripted, that wasn't a play, that wasn't contrived 
by the Freemasons next door in the lodge, the temple. You know, it's not really next door, but it's in the same area in Washington, D.C., with the 33 pillars. Tell me, how are the Congress not a bunch of actors? Congress equals 100. She's the Speaker of the House. She's pretty much the leader of the whole Capitol Hill and Congress and all that bullshit. 100 days from her birthday. Also, three months, nine days. 39, Mason 39. Span of 101 days. You know, Assassin 101, and this impeachment propaganda. Scottish Rider Freemasonry 143. Donald 31. 101 is the 26th prime. Today's the date with the 26th Triangular number, the 351st day of the year. Again, if you're new here, I might not always make sense like that. Like, I always just kind of call some of these things out. Like, I call the 26 chain. I might not fully get why they're calling all the 26 exactly. But I know when I call these things out, it makes you start thinking. And at least you see how they're putting this out. But the very obvious, clear patterns of the code, you know, I always make sure to emphasize those. We can see from her 79th birthday when she's coming out. They do like the number 267. 38 weeks in one day, ordered out of chaos 183, 8 months, 22 days, death 228. But I always see it's like a better a riddle to the closer birthday. And we had it that one time, just just this past time. And we looked at her birth, her upcoming birthday. Just to keep it simple. Trump unloads. I mean, unloads what? Yeah, unloads on all the boys' faces. That's exactly what he does. Because everyone loves Trump. He just unloads right all on them. They lap it all up and love it. These people are fucking ridiculous. Thinking Trump's the savior. Trump unloads equals 48, like Donald Trump. And 50. And So we'll, cl we'll close off with this. Trump unloads. New World Order. Illuminati. See? Illuminati 150. 69, like Trump unloads. New World Order 69. New World Order 174. <laughs> Donald Trump. 48, Illuminati 48, today with 48 numerology, Trump unloads on a day with 48 numerology, again, you see how it's always by the numbers, it is by the numbers propaganda from the federal government, which, which is a one world order, Freemasonic order, Zionist Jew, Jesuit order, it's not just the United States federal it's government, been a long time never think that. that, but of course, are they responsible? Absolutely, this is propaganda from the United States federal government, it is fake news, Donald equals 112. Here's a six minute, 13 second video about Donald Trump. Zionist 112, Mathematics 112. Six minute, 13 seconds. 613 is the 112 prime. Circle 112. All here in Fox News. And I'm glad. I'm glad we get a video length. I mean, we get videos from them kind of often, but not all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, it's just more propaganda. Quit believing it. I say that every single time. Quit believing it. 104. America found it with 104 numerology. Jerusalem equals 104. Here they put the 113. Scottish 113. And 32. America also found it with 32 numerology. Bible come out 113A. So it's okay for the Jews to circumvent the Gentiles through deception in a legal setting. And they're letting you know about some propaganda beginning at 9, 1130. I mean, come on. At the House. The House, see, the House representatives were Nancy Pelosi is the main speaker of. House equals 23. <laughs> Today's a date with 23 numerology. They're all inside this propaganda. I mean, you see what I'm saying? 68, 23. It's the, so the market pattern. So this is how we learn. Whenever you see the market, the, on the days where I say look up for the market, because the, again, a pound had a nice sell off today and they, they publicized it. House equals 68, 23. See, there was 6823 numerology, you get house propaganda. It's all on Fox News, it's all on CNN. That's why, that's why the Speaker of the House, you see what I'm saying, is on the front page. And again, you can back test this. All you can do is go on Google, go to, you can search, you can go to the tools option, search specific dates, go to find every date with 68 numerology, see if this actor is around. You'll see her. She is a theatrical puppet. She is a pawn, an actress for the Freemasons. Peace out.